We are back with Mostly Interesting, and today is National Smile Day. So this should make you smile. Our sister station in Jacksonville, Florida, shared this very important story. A cat from the Jacksonville Humane Society found its forever home. And before you see what he looks like, don't call him fat. He's just fluffy. Mm. The organization says Seven the Cat here is 30 pounds of pure love. They shared a post on Facebook trying to find him a new home and they need the owners to help slim him down a little bit. In the Facebook post, they say that he's roughly the size of a barge. This beef cookie is waiting for you in group room two, they say. The new owners say that he will be taking some prescription food and be watched over by vets to make sure that he's able to lose a few LBs, but he sure looks cute. Yeah, and every pet deserves a forever home. Yes, <laughs> having had to put a cat on a diet, I oh. will tell you, it is not easy. I bet, <laughs> no, did Brian get all, was it Brian? Yes, uh -huh. and you know, cats do what they want. Yep. So, you know, you, you try it out, but anyway, <laughs> he's happy. That's good. Well, let's move on to another pet theme story. So, yes. over the weekend, a Cleveland library celebrated a retirement party for one of its special coworkers. <laughs> yep, it's a pet story. <laughs> Loganberry Books in Shaker Heights, Ohio, is celebrating the retirement of Otis. Uh, not only was this a retire his retirement party, it was also his 13th birthday. Look at his face! I know, the retirement party <laughs> included a round of feline wordle, oh. cat cakes, whisker recommendations, and so much more. And for all of the people who commented on the Facebook post saying that they were going to miss Otis, don't worry, his sister Alice is taking over shortly. I love that pairing, Alice and Otis. Yes, I love a bookshop cat, a library cat. <laughs> I just, I don't know, for some reason, they just seem to fit in well with those sorts of environments. Mm -hmm. But it's like a little mascot. Yes, mm -hmm. and they're good to curl up with too if you're gonna read True. a good book. 